Is Ukiah's market shifting? Are we going into a buyer's market? Well, all of those questions will be asked just now and answered further in this video, so make sure to stay tuned if you're curious about Ukiah's market update. Hi, my name is Casey Gray, your homegirl broker associate here in Ukiah, and today we're talking about the current market in the Ukiah area. So this search and trends and all of the stats that I'm gonna be talking about are just for Ukiah specifically. If there are other areas you would like me to talk about, please let me know and I'd be more than happy to do so. Um, but for now, we're just gonna get started. There is a lot of talk about how the market's going, what's happening, what's shifting, is it shifting, is it a buyer's market now? And I'm gonna kinda get into those stats and help you break them down so you can hopefully understand them and if not, then I'm always here for a more in-depth conversation. Um, first, what we're going to do, if you haven't watched any of my market update videos, we're going to compare the last month to the month before that and the year before that in the same month. So we're gonna be comparing April to March and then we're gonna be comparing April of 2020 to April of 2021. So let's talk about the house, the amount of houses that were for sale. This gives us a great um, look into the inventory because for so long the thing that causes a seller's market is a lack of inventory and a influx of uh, available buyers. Currently in April there in April, there were 35 homes for sale. Now, in March of 2022, there was only 27 homes for sale. And in April of 2021, there was only 24 homes for sale. So we're up about 10 houses from the month before and the year before. And so the amount of houses that sold is what helps us determine what kind of market that we're in. Because if we're having a lot of houses come on, but they're not selling as quick as um, they, are coming on, then that leads us to more of a neutral market or a buyer's market. And so what this means is that in April of 2022, 19 houses came on. So remember when I just said that 35 houses came on and 19 sold. So we have about a 16 home difference, which allows for the kind of shift that most buyers are hoping for and even most sellers, because it's very overwhelming to get over 10 offers on your house when you just don't even know what to do with yourself. So um, in March of 2022, 25 houses sold. And if you'll remember, I said that 27 came on the market. So that's leaving like a very small gap of the amount of available houses that were on the market after all of those sold. And then in April of 2021, 19 houses also sold. So it's kind of consistent from the year before, but from the month before, it definitely sold down quite a bit. And that we can probably thank to our rate hikes. Um, but let's get into the average price per square foot. So this doesn't have a ton of bearing on certain homes, but it will kind of give you an idea of how things are changing as far as overall costs go. So in April of 2022, the price per square foot was 351. And in March of 2022, the average square foot, the average price per square foot was 337. And in April of 2021, the average price per square foot was 304. So in such a um, niche market like Ukiah where there's only 24 or 35 houses for sale. This can be greatly affected by a larger valued home coming on the market. So we're up about $50 from the year before and 20-ish dollars from the month before. And this could also be an effect of people hearing that houses are going for so much over asking, you can get so much money for your home, and people putting their house out on the market for more than maybe what it's actually, its actual value is showing. So just keep that in mind as we go along. The days on the market for April of 2021, or 2022, sorry, was 46 days. In March of 2022, it was 101. So I'm not exactly sure what cause that to be that way and because in april of 2021 there was 
the average days on the market was 49. So um, we're seeing a lot of consistency from the year before and kind of a large variation from the month before, um, which is definitely an interesting factor. And like I said, one house can make the difference um, in these stats. So just kind of keep that in mind. The average active price is what a house is the average of the houses that are available on the market and like i said some of the higher end homes tend to sit on the market for longer so that can also affect the stats so the average active price in april of 22 was 742,000. in march of 22 it was 842,000, and then in april of 2021 it was $1,007,000 seven thousand dollars so um it's definitely interesting to see it's kind of going down and that also might be because of just one house or it could be because those interest rates are kind of scaring people and now they're listing lower but it does not compute with the average price per square foot but the average sold price is a lot more consistent and a lot more of a tail tail sign of the average price in ukiah um, so in april of 2022 the average sold price was 566,000. in march of 2022 the average sold price was 555,000. and then in april the average sold price was 546,000. so we're pretty consistent um looks like it's going up about 10,000 ten thousand dollars each year uh, or each category which is interesting but now to determine if we're in a buyer's market or a seller's market we do that by months of inventory so what months of inventory is it's the amount of houses for sale versus the amount of houses that have sold and the turnover rate of what that is so in April of 2021 the months of inventory was 1.3 so that means if no new houses came on and we started selling at the same consistency as we have been how long would it take for us to run out of the inventory and so that's what helps us determine buyer's market or seller's market and then anything between four and six months of inventory is kind of a neutral market and six months and up is a buyer's market a very heavily buyer's market and so um in april of 21 the months of inventory was 1.3 so if we, no new houses came on it would take us one month to one month and a few days to sell all of those houses in march of 2022 this is kind of like right before any rate hikes came it was 1.1 months of inventory so virtually negative and then the months of inventory for April was 1.8. So we're getting up there. I will, cannot wait to see what the May stats look like. I think that's going to be quite different because I'm seeing just out there in the market, a lot of homes tend to sit longer, especially in the under 600,000 range. Um, I would love to know what you're thinking, what you're seeing, and this video is in no means to scare anyone. Um, I think that the market always just depends on what your long-term goals are, what your short-term goals are, and the individual house. Um, real estate is a great investment regardless of what type of market it is it just depends on you and what your financial goals are so the way that you can kind of figure out if now is a good time for you to buy or if now is a good time for you to sell is by working with a professional to help you understand your options um, whether you're renting it out you're keeping it you're staying in it or you're selling it and what we can do to maximize that value in a market where things don't fly off the shelf just because they're listed and you have to kind of put some more effort in is where a good agent is really going to help you um, shine bright so um, if you have any questions about the Ukiah market interested in taking a look at some homes um, all of my info will be down below and I cannot wait to hear from you and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.